Welcome to The Real Board Loft. I'm Trev Foreman. We have Brett Barley with us. Brett, welcome. What's up, and we are here with Real and Surflines Under the Glass to talk about the Channel Islands Too Happy. Brett, let's bring this board in here and let's, uh, let's get after it. First, let's just kick right into dimensions. We're going to get technical. What's your height and weight and what are the dimensions on this board? I'm 5'9 by 163 to 165 pounds except during the holidays, as I keep saying. And this is a 510 by 18 and 5 eighths by two and 5 sixteenths. It's 26 and a half liters. Too happy. And this is a also a stock board, right? Yep, straight like, off right the rack. Off, straight off the rack at real. All of, all of the boards, except the loss, are yeah, stock. Are stock straight off the rack. And also off the rack. Let's talk about uh, like where this fits in CI's lineup. Um, they've got like the Happy Series, the Happy Everyday, which is like their like kind of everyday shortboard, like what a lot of other people call like a step down yeah. shortboard. Uh, the Two Happy is their like all around like kind of daily driver, kind of should kind of work in everything. Yeah. And then the uh, Happy Traveler, which is more of a like pulled in round tail. Uh, if you're going on a trip, like you want a really good board, yeah. like for heavy waves, uh, that's going to be like your go-to board with a similar feel to the other two, like Happy Series boards. Uh, this is the two Happy. Let's jump into like kind of what you thought of this board, what, what conditions you rode in it, and uh, like what your feedback is on it. Yeah, so I'm just going to start rambling on my thoughts. So this board has a little way boxier rails than I normally ride. Mm -hmm. You know, is in the similar range to like what I would ride in a 510 like high performance shortboard. Okay. It's not even thick or anything. It's just there, there is a little more volume out to the rail. And so why that's good for like, you know, smaller, softer surf to me, mm -hmm. that's where I've been picking this board up the most is when it's like in this range and down. Yeah. Um, it goes way better than all my other performance shortboards that have like knifier rails, maybe they're a little more pulled in. It's, and so this is more forgiving. I've ridden it down into the, like the knee to thigh high range surfing with my son. Um, and it works because of those, those rails, but it definitely shines the most in the like thigh to head high range. Okay. Um, I thought having picked it up and felt it under my arm, and then even the first couple times I rode it when it was small, I kind of pigeonholed it as like, oh, it's gonna be like a small wave board. But there was one or two times where I rode it when it was like, you know, head high to overhead, mm -hmm. and it still went really good. I had a couple backside turns that it held off the bottom and straight through the lip really well. And so then I was like, okay, so this isn't just like a small wave. To me, it felt like a small wave shortboard. And I would say it like operates best as that, but kind of like you said, it is all around. Like it didn't, you know, max out and I wasn't like spinning out on the bottom turn or anything. Like I got right. a couple nice barrels on it that were overhead and um, yeah, just kind of nice. I would say, nice shortboard. I would say again, with, the, with those boxy rails, it's for me fits the void of in my quiver of boards I need for softer days. Like okay. not even small, just like soft, soft, like slope your faces in general. So like chest high, head high, but soft yeah. Yeah. or, you know, weight any, it's going to kind of cover that whole, yeah. that whole right range minus like when it's really going off. Right. Right. Okay. But then again, when it was still the day I wrote it, it, it was it good, still it still went. And I was like, I kind of paddled it out to, it was just what was in my truck. Yeah. I was coming back, Mason had a contest and I was coming back and, and went straight into a session and I expected to be let down and I wasn't. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about, you know, Channel Islands makes this, you know, the Happy Series, right? But they also make the Pro yeah. Series, the <clears throat> CI Pro and the, and the Two Point Pro. How does this board differ like through that range compared to those two boards? So I would say it just, again, kind of fills that void. I look at my CI Pro and the Two Point Pro as my go-tos for when it's pumping. Yep. And again, that's not even necessarily big, but just like if it's this big and like really steep and bowly, I don't necessarily want that like boxed out rail. Personally, some people love boxed out rails. Yeah. I know plenty of guys who don't, like all their boards are way beefier than mine along the whole rail line. Okay. And so that can also just be a personal thing. But for me, the, you know, it's got a little bit thicker tail. It, it's a little less knifey than the pro range. Mm -hmm. And again, that's the whole point. It fits a wider array of waves. Whereas on the two point pro and the CI pro, you're going to, when you start getting into smaller waves and softer waves, you're really going to feel those. And it's going to kind of like accent the things that you're maybe not the most polished at. Okay. Whereas this glides through it. And it's going to carry yeah, through it's those got, sections better. It's got way more forgiveness through all that. Okay. Like you talked a little bit about like small wave range, like 
better wave range, comparing it to the Pro. Uh, what about accessibility, like on this board? Like who can surf this board at a lower level than you? Yeah, I, I think that this fits, you know, if you're getting into the shortboard realm, this is like a great beginner board. Uh -huh. Like I said, when I rode it on some smaller days, I was really surprised at how responsive it was, but how much, how well it carried speed. And then even the times where I feel like I maybe didn't approach the lip as, as well or whatever, it, it, I didn't bog and I rode through it and I was okay. able to finish the turn and whatever. And so I think that as far as, you know, trying to get into a short board, something with a little bit boxier rail, softer rail, not as sharp is going to give you more forgiveness and an ability to like learn through those turns instead of, you know, catching or bogging and, and <laughs> realizing your shortcomings. Yeah. You get to learn through them instead of just falling over. And for that same surfer, right? Like, so they're like coming off of like a rocket, like in CI's line, like a rocket wide or, uh, you know, something that's like wider and like more forgiving. And they're going to this, like, and if you can remember this far back, right? Cause you're like way further down the road. Like what are they, <laughs> what are they gaining out of, out of going to a short board? Um, yeah, right. That's a wild thing to think about. I think <laughs> it's just like one of those things, like once you start progressing to a certain point, it's like fun to, to push yourself further. Like that, when you hit that lit, limit and you're just kind of like oh well i got all these boards dialed and i can do all these things and ride these waves and it's like okay well what can i ride that like can elevate my surfing a little bit that i can learn from mm -hmm. and you know kind of improve my performance and so like i think that that is is fun as a challenge mm -hmm. um in a session it's, it's why like even at my level i hop on like different alternative stuff trying to be like okay well like can i now can i do this well and then the, the funny thing is in that, when you start doing that, then I hop back on my other boards and I end up starting to ride those better as well because what you learn by hopping on like boards that are you know either more performance based than you're used to or just more alternative based than you're used to is that you learn how to maneuver that foam and then it just teaches you things. And so then you can apply it to the rest of your quiver. Right, right. Um, this thing you've had in your quiver for a while. Yeah. Right. This was like, I think of season two, this was maybe the first board. This, yeah, this was one of the first two or three boards. Yeah. And so I've, I had plenty of time on it. I've, I've really loved it. Um, again, it kind of fit for me. It goes, it's like CI pro two point pro too happy. And that basically has me covered from like thigh high to, you know, all the way up to foot or two overhead and a wider range of conditions. I'm, I don't need anything else, so. Brett, let's take a look at the fins. Um, talk about the fins you're using. It looks like you got Futures uh, black sticks, medium size in here. Were these the only fins you used on the board? No, so as you know, I'm a firm believer in the John John fins and I've been riding the Pizels, but whenever the waves are softer, I really like the black sticks construction. Mm -hmm. um, I just like having a little bit of extra springiness in those waves that are a little bit weaker. And so paired with the two happy, it's like, for me, a really nice combo to kind of get the most out of the board in those types of conditions. Okay. And, um, you know, I also still ride the John Johns in it. It'll depend. It depends like on the weakness of the waves. Sometimes I'll ride the black sticks. Sometimes I ride the Johns. It's more just personal preference, but I, I wouldn't, I don't put the black sticks in a whole lot of different boards. It's mostly in those waves when it's a little bit softer. And so those paired with the two happy are, uh, a good combo in my eyes. So the black sticks just give you more like spring out of yeah, the yeah. and the ability to generate more speed. Yeah. Okay. Coupled with the construction of the board for those kinds of waves, it's like, feels really good. Okay. Awesome. Well, hey, thank you so much for sharing the feedback on the Channel Islands Too Happy. Uh, and also the tip on the fins. I think that's going to be really helpful to people. If anyone out there has any questions on the Too Happy or would like to order one, either stock or custom, uh, you can always reach us at the shop, 252-987-6000, or look us up online, realwatersports.com forward slash surfing. Thanks for tuning in.